Mina, Code Benoit, Jesus Freaking Gamer here, back with more Psalms, and this time, Psalm 12 is where I'm going to look, specifically verses 3 and 4. May the Lord cut off all flattering lips, and the tongue that speaks proud things, who have said, with our tongue we will prevail, our lips are our own, who is Lord over us. This is a warning, essentially, to anyone I guess it applies more to non-Christians than Christians, but also to Christians who may well say, you know, say with their lips, you know, I'm going to do this, I purpose this, this is what's going to happen, and nothing's going to stop it. To the Christians, I would say, guys, your plans should not be your own. What does the Lord want you to do? What has He called you to? It's not bad to have intentions, it's not bad to go out and do things, but... Are you doing the Lord's will? Are you doing the Lord's work? Are you maybe saying you're going to do some things that the Lord wouldn't be pleased with? Are you saying you're going to live your life in such a way that, you know, you'll, you'll be a decent person, but not, not necessarily pursue God's best? Is that really what you want? Is that really where you want to go in your life? It would be a lot easier and a lot better if you would walk with the Lord and if you would do what He wants you to do. If you're going to say anything... Say what the Bible has to say. Say what God has to say about you. Say what God has in store for your life. Line up with Him and agree with Him. Sometimes it is a bit scary, I will admit, but overall, if you go down the path of faith, in the end, there is a great reward. Let's not forget that despite how difficult this world can be, our names are ultimately written in the book of life, and it is before our Lord that we will stand and, and be accountable. And to, I think this goes to the non-Christians primarily, but this, this next admonition may go to some Christians as well. You're just planning on doing your own thing. You really don't care what the Bible has to say. You really don't care what God has to say. You may have intentions that the Bible would define as evil. Like, I'm going, you know, I'm going to do fill in the blank. And fill in that blank with whatever sinful idea you may have in mind, regardless of what it may be. Um, I'm like, there, there are so many examples, whether you're going to lie, cheat, steal, um, you know, do something illegal, do some kind of drug, do something that's sexually deviant. There are so many sins that I could fill in that blank with, and you're just, you just say with your mouth, I'm going to do this, this is the intent of my heart, and I'm going to get away with it. You know, no one's going to stop me. Think again. I am well aware that sometimes people get away with bad activities and sometimes the intentions of evil people and wicked people go through and there's no punishment. But from what I've seen and from what I understand and from what I believe, many, many, many times when you go and do something stupid like that, your sin's going to find you out. Your badness is going to catch up to you. You're going to reap what you've sown. You're not going to get away with it. Even if you do the action and you're not stopped from doing the action, the consequences are going to be a huge pain in the rear. And at that time, I further admonish you, please don't, please don't keep running. Please don't keep intentionally doing stupid, evil things at that moment. Remember what you've heard here from that annoying Christian guy on YouTube and say, you know what? He was right. I got found out. Maybe I should reconsider the things the Bible has to say. Maybe I should reconsider the Lord's purpose and position in my life. Especially if you're a Christian, remember these words. And know for certain that your sin will find you out. If you're a believer in God, He will most certainly make sure that He does everything in His power to get your attention so that you will live for Jesus like you should as a believer. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I love you, and God bless.